Alicia Brown. I am a dance teacher. I teach competitive dance. I teach for um, hip hop, jazz, and tap. I am 23 and I just graduated from Manhattanville College last year. Hi, I'm Amanda and I was infected with COVID-19. Hi, I'm Colleen Merlov and I'm a high school senior that was told to stay home because of the COVID-19 pandemic. My name's Ryan Steeler and I'm a fitness coach. Can't really go coach anybody because of COVID-19. I mean, really, it's my friends who I miss the most. Talking with them, going out with them, hugging them. Talking online can only do so much. Three things that I miss during quarantine, I would have to say is going out with my friends. Um, actual school, like me in class. Um, and being able to go out to my favorite restaurants. The last thing that I miss is just, um, so I have a crew. I am a part of a dance crew outside of my studio and we make dance videos and stuff, just going to different places, being filmed, posting it. And I miss that cause I miss my team. Okay. I miss my team so much, you know? The first thing I would do after the pandemic is open my very own dance studio. I'm so excited. I've been thinking about it for so long and I was getting ready. We were going to do it. You know, this quarantine put us a step back, but it's, it's okay. I'm still excited to open it. I think that just means that more people are going to want to start dancing again. So excited. <laughs> What I've been doing to pass the time has really just been practicing on um, guitar, music, um, dancing. Pretty much practicing entertainment, entertaining, and like really getting back into the flow of things. And if it, I'm not doing that, I'm sleeping because of how hard it is to get motivated. Well, it usually be out most of the time. But now that I can't, I decided to pick up some games I never had the time to finish and actually beat them. Some of them, though, uh, I see why I never finished. I usually go pick up a lunch from school just because it's an excuse to get out of the house. I'll walk my dog or I'll walk on the beach with my mom. Um, have I picked up any new skills? I don't think so. I've been just trying to, you know, perfect my craft and explore dance in different ways, you know, connect with nature because I'm outside a little bit more. You know, actually, I have been working on tutting, you know, I don't know if that's a new craft, but that's like, this is literally all I can do. So I don't, I don't know. During the time in quarantine, I have learned how to mature. I've learned patience. I have learned how to manage my money better. I've even started to pick up painting again. Being stuck in the house hasn't really affected my mental health. If anything, it's helped it in a way. I was so used to going out and having fun that I never really had time for me. Has being stuck in one place affected my mental health? At first, not really. I was just very, very, very bored. But as, you know, time progressed, it has had an impact on me. Um, I've honestly been having a real struggle just trying to really deal with it. But I was able to contact my therapist 
and make appointments to, you know, vent and, you know, talk. But, I don't know, it's just, I feel trapped. So how I'm helping my community is just by not going into stores and stuff except for essential needs. And I'm also um, hosting online dance classes with my new studio as well as my boss's studio to keep people moving and grooving. Physical activity, you know, it's so easy for us to just stay in our stay in our beds and not really get up and active if we don't have places to go. So I think um, just doing online classes and participating in them, especially if they're free, they're free, so come check us out. I find strength right now during this time through my friends and Chi, my dog, um, through my community, through video calls, and even self-care. Well, besides, you know, trying to keep myself physically active, I've always wanted to do a lot of stuff that I can't don't have the time to. I'm usually out, but I've just been doing, you know, games, drawing, writing, stuff I couldn't normally have time to do. So, not that hard. I believe the biggest issue that I'm dealing with right now is this creative block. The inability to find inspiration or motivation to really do what I know I need to do to become a better artist and entertainer. Because I'm not around my friends and they're like the ones that really kind of inspire me to make the stories that I make because of what they tell me um, from my own heart aches and tragedies that you know we kind of go through each day and and not being around that kind of really just kind of cut the wire to that creative space almost like when i look at a piece of paper i'm gonna say i'm just trying to write a song i'm listening to the beat it's trying to tell me something but I can't make out what it is. I can't write. It's, I'm constantly just looking at the blank canvas. And I have all this paint. But I don't know how to use it. Honestly, this has been affecting my mom more than me. She doesn't know what to do. She constantly comes to me and tells me that she's bored and I don't really know how to respond to that. Being together has brought us closer a bit more, yeah. Work, okay. <laughs> I don't have one anymore. I was the first one to get cut. Well, since I'm away from everyone, I haven't had any face-to-face -face interactions because that would constitute me getting close to people and I don't want to get anyone sick. But uh, there's this one family that I've nannied for for a couple years and so the mom will send me cute videos of like what the family's doing and stuff like that and it's really cute and it makes me smile. Even so... I can't really go out and coach people. Luckily, I have a part-time job at a central place, so I still get paid. Well, since me and my mom both lost our jobs, we uh, have to turn to the government for help. And with that, we just have to be careful with how we spend our money. So I get my income from hosting online dance classes. We host free dance classes and then we also host privates, um, which you can sign up for.
and cost cost a little bit but not too much so definitely check us out i'm not i feel like our government is not doing enough people need to be protected i feel like they should provide more testing and they should come up with a plan to get us back into society in a way that's responsible and safe because they failed to respond to it in a serious way and now we're here. Well, I'm quarantined with my mother and uh, at first getting food and cleaning supplies was a big fear for me. But after we got those items, it's just like another normal day in the house. I'm afraid of people not enforcing the quarantine and then people not giving a chance for doctors to catch up because they don't want to stop going outside. Everyone working is risking their lives and it's ridiculous to protest that because it makes it last even longer. Even though finishing up senior year online sounded great, it was really what's going to happen next that makes me nervous. I plan on going to Full Sail University in Florida for college, but um, with this pandemic happening and not knowing how long it'll last, I've been uh, thinking about staying closer to home. But if I do stay closer to home, then I worry about if we're gonna be able to pay for everything. I mean, tuition and cost of classes alone make me scared since me and my mom don't have jobs. I mean, financial aid is always an option, but coronavirus makes everything unpredictable these days. Well, I think it's only going to last a few more months, but I really think it should last longer for everyone's safety, you know. Um, after the pandemic, I definitely want to continue doing self-care routines and working out because I haven't really had much time to do that um, before the pandemic with all the stuff that I had to do. And I think I've been doing really well and I do not want to go backwards. So that's something I really want to continue. I just hope that humanity will wake up and realize that basic hygiene and maintenance are essential after this whole pandemic blows over. Um, it's a hard one. More cleanliness. Being more clean. Um, so sneezing into your elbows and washing hands more often. And I think the little bit of, sorry, uh, the little bit of life people have left. So going on walks or going to the grocery store and stuff like that. Um, people probably won't be shaking hands anymore well hopefully it goes back to normal that's why i see it and hopefully everyone else now is doing you know their part to keep this thing quarantined so that when we're all laid down the line back where we are we don't have to do this whole mess again after this I see my life going back to the way it was. And I hope everyone does their part now, keeping this thing spreading that after we're done, we can all go back to the way it was without regretting it later on. I see my life getting a little harder just because I would have to distance myself more and just be careful with the people that I'm around.